Hello craft lovers, today I'm going to show you how I made this personalized envelope sealer with Adobe Illustrator and Cricut Explore Air. Open your Adobe Illustrator. Go to File and make a new document. I'm going to choose 3 inches for the width and height. Click on the Shape tool. If the shape is not set to Ellipse tool, you can simultaneously press the Alt and Shift keys on your keyboard and the left button of your mouse to choose the ellipse. For this project, I will be needing a circle shape. So to do that, drag the left button of your mouse while holding Shift on your keyboard to make a perfect circle. It doesn't matter how big the circle is because we can set our preferred width and height at the top menu of Illustrator. With the use of the type tool, I'm going to input the family name of the bride and groom. I will be using the Nubita script font to match the wedding invitation. I prefer to align my elements so I can visualize the design that I'm going to make. I decided to put some designs so that the sailor will match the wedding invitation. To do that, click on File, Place, and find the element you want to import. To resize it without distorting the image, simultaneously press Alt and Shift keys on your keyboard and with the left button on your mouse, click on the small dot at the upper left or right of the image and drag to downsize the element. I will copy the image by using the selection tool to select the image and press the Alt key and left button on your mouse and drag it. To transform the element, select it and click on the right button of your mouse and choose transform. For this particular design, I would like to reflect it as I will place it at the top of the names. So from here, I will adjust, align and group the elements to see how the font and design complement each other. Once I am satisfied with the design I made, I will save it as PNG with the highest resolution. Do not forget to also save your file, especially if you want to make any changes to your design. I will now open my Cricut Design Space and upload the sealer that I made. I always choose complex to keep the details of the design. I will save my project and resize the sealer to 1.25 by 1.25 inches. I do not need a big envelope sealer because I'm going for a cute one. Click on make it, estimate and input the amount of sealer to cut and also to maximize the sticker paper. Click on continue, connect your Cricut machine, and then click on send to printer. I turned off the bleed because I don't have any stroke on my circle. 
For this project, I use a matte finish sticker paper for inkjet. If your printer is like mine, make sure that the printable side is facing down, then click on print. After printing, I stuck it on my Cricut mat. I made sure that the dial is in custom so I can adjust the setting for the material that I'm going to use. I chose thicker paper and less pressure. I also use a fine point blade to cut the sticker. When all the settings are set, load your mat and press go. It will scan and cut the stickers. Once the cutting is done, unload the mat, remove the excess paper, and use the Cricut spatula to lift the stickers from the Cricut cutting mat. If you prefer your sticker intact with the whole sticker paper, you can lessen the pressure in the sticker setting so that it will not cut through the sticker paper. And here is the exciting part, sticking it on your wedding invitations. There you have it, your personalized envelope sealer. Thank you for watching. Until the next crafting video.